gorgeous. What is going on on this oh, wacky granny Wednesday? Except we're not whacking any granny yards today. Matter of fact, we're not doing anything today. It's raining. It's been raining all day, all morning, and right now, obviously, as you can see. So we're not doing anything on a rainy day. What can you do on a rainy day except maybe do some maintenance and stuff, which I'm not even going to do that because we are off tomorrow, of course, for Thanksgiving. So if I do any kind of maintenance, maybe I'll do it tomorrow. If not, then I'll do it this weekend. I normally do maintenance stuff on the weekends. So it's raining. But one thing we are going to do today is Busy Bee is still in school. And uh, one thing we discovered last time we were using the Dark Knight is the front brakes and pads are completely shot. That's right, completely shot. I mean, they are down to metal. So I have a dentist appointment real quickly. And so I'm going to go do that after this video. And then when we come back, maybe I'll continue this video. Maybe I'll make a video and just save it for another day. I don't know about that just yet, so bear with me. But that is the plan to get that knocked out so that way when the dark knight needs to be used again uh it will have good brakes and rotors and pads and all that i hate doing stuff like that especially on a truck that i don't plan on keeping but i can't even get rid of that truck like that i mean it's so bad let's let me let me go show you before we uh, get going into what i have going on for today look at this i don't know if you'll be able to see it just because of the lighting they are bad they're shot and if you're wondering why they're shot so quickly uh but nick you hardly use this truck well we hardly do use this truck but the time that we do use it we're putting a lot of this is one of the reasons ninjas why i got to get rid of this truck and get a big heavy duty truck because the few times that we do use this truck we connect it to that trailer over there and it's just a lot of weight for it and a lot of times i'll even try to just have two pieces of equipment on there instead of three but this truck, it's still too much for it. The trailer itself is really heavy also. So that is one of the reasons I'm getting rid of this truck. So, but I got to do the brakes. Got to do the brakes for the time that I have it. And of course, if I sell it or trade it, still got to have decent brakes, Ninjas. So a while back, Ninjas, I have uh, touched base and talked to you and asked you uh, maybe, uh, you know, what kind of dash cameras you would recommend and because i specifically uh made a statement where i said how important it is to have a dash camera especially in a business like we are in we're hopefully all, all in most of us i guess or thinking about getting in this business regardless i think whether you're in business or not you should have a dash camera and a lot of you have given me great feedback back on that video this was a video a while back i want to say even like a month or two ago so finally, a dash two-channel dash camera came in. It's called Blackview Dash Camera by Blackview. And it is front and rear. And it's supposed to be one of those where it has its own cloud. It'll store things. Now, again, I'm not reviewing this right now. I'm just basically introducing this to you. I want to just show you. So stay tuned on the actual review for this. And not only will I have an actual review of this, but I will have a video as we install this and step by step how easy or hard it is to install and so forth. Stay tuned on that, but let's go ahead and open it. So Blackview was really cool to include a couple of pens. So that's pretty cool. Thank you very much. A shirt right here very very cool and these are not from what i've looked online and stuff these are not your el cheapos so to say dash cameras because i've had one of those a while back as i've mentioned and uh they don't last long so i've got a couple of stickers that is cool i think i got some extra stickers wow i do so maybe i'll do a giveaway on some of these stickers because i'm just going to keep one or two for the locker of fame and uh here we go this is the dash cam so again keep in mind this is not a review i'm just kind of showing you there it is right there now as a lot of you ninjas know every year i get some uh gift cards to any particular store that i choose i normally always choose home depot sometimes best buy this year i actually chose about a quarter of it to go towards best buy because i ended up getting a new gopro 9 i just haven't even honestly taken it out of the box or used that yet this is still the 8 that i'm using right here right here hello hello but uh, so that was one of them, but the rest of it went into Home Depot and I've gotten a lot of things and uh, I am so excited to show you everything that I've purchased. So I'm only going to show you a few things today and this happened to be one of them. So this is a Dewalt and this is a basically a charger 
you know, where you charge this up and you can uh, jumpstart your vehicle, of course, but you have some USB connections and you have your regular uh, home, home plugs right there. And you have a tire inflator, which I already have one. You guys have seen that in the past. I have another smaller one, but it's not bad to have another one. Why not? Um, there it is. So this is this is a heavy duty usage. Now I really was looking into some Jackeries. That's the brand. They they're called Jackeries, and uh, but the ones I've been really wanting, they just seem to never come back into stock, and so I just got tired of waiting. So I ended up going with this, and I think the Jackeries I was looking at are even a little bit more powerful. But you know, and this this can charge up your laptops. It can charge up your um, you know phones if you if you lose electricity in your home it can even like plug in a fridge i think so it's just it's really good to have one of those and uh, it doesn't really matter what brand but that was one of the things i picked up but there's a reason i picked this up and why i've been looking at one of these especially the jackeries oh and there's that light i need to turn that off there you go and this is where you charge it and it's actually really heavy. It's pretty heavy. I'd say probably about 10, 10 so plus pounds. But um, it's a really nifty tool. And you get, like I said, air. You got AC power and the alternator check. You can check your alternator on there. And I think I paid for this $199, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe two something, but it's right around there. But there's a reason I got this. And why I got this and why I've been wanting one of these is because of what we're going to actually review today. And here it is, the moment of truth. Now, I've had this thing for a while, as I mentioned earlier. And it's just been one of those things. But I am finally getting a chance to review this. And I'm so excited. And I cannot wait to try this thing out starting next season. So, Ninjas, what is... What is the biggest issue that we have during the summer when we're out here slicing and dicing and, uh, you know, in this hot heat, hot weather? Uh, you know, what is one of the biggest challenges? Having cold drinks. So, you know, we go through coolers. I mean, a lot of you have seen I got a cooler a while back this last summer and, uh, you know, it claims that it holds cold you know, ice for up to five days, but it doesn't really hold ice, I think only up to like two and a half, three days, which is still pretty decent. But, you know, I would like to have something. And I always said this to myself, I'd like to have something where I can just keep cold drinks. So when this came up, uh, I was really intrigued by this and excited and really wanted to look into this. So IceCo is a company that makes coolers but this is not just a cooler ninjas this is a three in one that's right you heard me three in one this is a cooler like your regular cooler a fridge and a freezer which is why this little guy comes into play i will keep this inside my truck all summer long and it will be plugged into this. Now this obviously uses very minimum of power. And so this will hold charge. If I can get through a whole week with it, man, I'm going to be happy. If I have to take this thing out of the truck at the end of my you know long week and let it charge up over the weekend, I'm going to be super happy. And I think that's not going to be a problem. Now, if you don't have one of these, you're perfectly fine to use this with your power outlets inside your truck. Now, one cool thing about this, which was my concern, was, well, what if I leave this thing running and I don't turn on the truck for a couple hours because maybe I have a big landscaping job or something? Will it drain my battery in the truck? And then when I get ready to go home, I can't start the truck. Negative. No, this thing is a smart. It's got a smart feature on here. It's called an eco right there. And what it is, is once it realizes and recognizes that the battery in the vehicle is getting too low and you haven't started it, it'll shut off. It will shut off and not use any more of your battery power out of your truck. So that is really cool. But, you know, I wasn't going to fool with it. I wanted to have one of these. And that is why I ended up getting it. Now, again, this is a three in one freezer, fridge and your regular cooler so if you decide to use it as a regular cooler you do have right here where you can let the water out and right here is where it plugs in and then right here is where you adjust your temperature so it's basically like a mini fridge now real quickly let's just kind of check it out on the outside before i open it it's got some heavy duty right here rubber connectors where you know locks it in 
you've got two cup holders and I guess right here you can uh, you know put your phone in here or if, if you like Skittles you can fill this thing up with Skittles but <laughs> anyway uh, and it's got a little compressor right here I think the compressor has uh, it'll say it on the instructions but I want to say three or five years of warranty but don't hold me to that um, and then right here like I said you have your adjustments where you can uh, you know adjust your temperature to the freezing level or if you just want to keep it cool and cold like a fridge and you don't want it to freeze now they have many different sizes they got smaller ones they got bigger ones um, for everybody's different you know kind of needs but this is I believe a 42 count so what that means is it'll actually hold 42 sodas and I'm talking about cans uh, if you fill it up it'll fit 42 of them and how you do that is if you're not using this as a freezer or anything you can actually take this tray off and you'll have a little more room right here but if uh, you don't put all sodas in there or you don't plan on filling it up you can leave this tray in here and you know you can keep your beef jerky or something cold in here so that way you can snack between those granny yards that we have and do all day every day particularly on whack a granny wednesday now here is a uh, chart right here where it gives you the item number and that's that there it is right there where it says jp 42 so that's 42 count it is a compartment type refrigerator and uh, rated input power is 55 watt and of course you got your uh, voltage dc which is a 12 volt so what you want to do is take this cable right here and take this and just plug them in plug it in plug it in right there and then uh, we take this right here and we plug it in to the extra cord that came in give me just a second and that is right here so you plug this into that take this of course plug it in right here just like that and then we want to take this other end and plug it into a power outlet I just brought the extension over here just for this demo so let's push the on button and there it is now the first thing that stands out to me is how quiet it is it's not honestly that loud now keep in mind if you if you got this thing inside the truck this is nothing um, you're, you're not, you know, your truck, you're talking to people, you're, you know, listening to music, whatever it may be, you're not going to really be affected by this. But it's actually pretty quiet if you were to keep this in a boat or maybe in the garage if you're working. It's not loud at all. Option for Max or Eco. If you press it once, it'll switch to Eco. And that is what I was telling you about earlier, how it's going to know that if the power source gets weak, like your car battery or truck battery, it will shut off. Or if you just want it to go full max, there you go. Now, if you want to adjust your temperatures, right there, we keep it at 36. So it's reading 36. Now it's currently at 59, but it's gonna go down to 36. So we're gonna go ahead and close this and uh, let's see what it does while I'm gone. And if it actually gets down to, see, it's already down to 57 from 59. Anyway, I love this thing. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to actually start using it on a daily basis. Uh, this is perfect when those hot summers kick in. Now, here's the thing. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this, Ninjas? Of course you're ready. I reached out to Iceco and I said, hey, I want to show this to my Ninjas. And, uh, you know, this is, I think, for me, the next deal when it comes to keeping our drinks cold and keeping us hydrated what can you do for all the ninjas who watch this and may be interested in one of these particularly now that we're coming up on black friday right look it's already dropped it down to 55 because it is black friday not to mention as i said just a minute ago big investment right not your typical cooler three in one this is an investment and uh so they finally got back to me and said hey you know it's black friday Normally, you know, we're happy to take off 10% on this, uh, which we occasionally do run the 10% codes or deals that can save people a little bit of money. But because it is Black Friday and it is the ninjas, right? Uh, we're going to go ahead and give you 
20% off. Now, Ninjas, on a price like this, 20% off is a lot of money. So just an example, if you end up going with something like this, by the way, they do have different color options, okay? Uh, when I was looking for this, uh, this was the only decent one uh, as far as color-wise that was in stock. They had a white one. I just didn't want to have white. But they do have like a brownish camo type and uh, maybe even several other colors. I don't know. By now, they should have probably more options. But at the time when this came in for me, this was this one and white one were the only options. So I went with this one, which, you know, blue is fine with me. I don't care. And, you know, 20%, if you go with something like this particular one, I mean, that you're talking $120 of savings. That That's a lot. So if you are interested in this, I will have all their information down in the description, right? But I'll go ahead and put it on the screen right here. If you go to purchase this and you are checking out in the code section, if you type in SG Ninjas 10, so SG Ninjas 10 will save you 20% off on one of these bad boys. We're already down to 54. Let me see if I can actually see anything inside. Look at that. You can just hear it. There it is. See? Awesome. So, Isco, thank you so much for hooking the ninjas up and, uh, you know, giving us the opportunity for Black Friday to save some money. So there you have it, ninjas. I hope you enjoyed that little review. And, uh, you know, I'll have multiple reviews of this. I always, when I do a review of whether it's unboxing or just kind of showing you the first time, you know, it's just kind of an introduction, even though this was more of like thoroughly going through everything. But the ultimate test for me, no matter what I get, whether it's sent to me or whether I buy it, regardless, um, is, is how it does in the field, how it will uphold the beating of day in and day out. So stay tuned on that, but I gotta go. I have my appointments coming up. Busy B will meet me when I get done and come back here. We're gonna go get the rotors and the pads. And then uh, I will conclude this video then. And uh, we're gonna look at that and see if it brought the temperature to 32 degrees or 34, wherever we left it. But anyway, all right, we'll see you when I get back and then we'll conclude the video. Sounds good, sounds good. So, of course it does, come on, I gotta go. So just now got home, ninjas. Look who showed up. Busy Bee's here. We're getting ready to... And then he wants to bend over right when I start the camera. Good job, buddy. Good job. Hey, 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 hey. Come here, come here, come here. Come here. I know I... Yeah, I don't want you, like, right in the light, but no, no, no. Come over here. Well, take off your hat. Did you get shaved? What? Yeah. Dude, look at you. No, no, come back, come back. And you got... You growing a beard? I'm trying to. And you should... Now you look like one of them guys that's like a hunter for a bear. You know what I mean? Like, arr, like... You know what I mean? Like, what do you call those, like, hunters that hunt wild animals, deer, bear? Mm. I guess you just call them country folks, don't you? Yeah, like that. <laughs> <laughs> it looks good, buddy. So, uh, Busy B showed up. He's going to help me with this just because uh, we're not, we haven't done anything today because of the rain. And obviously, as I mentioned earlier, we're going to be off tomorrow because of the holiday. This way, it'll give him a little bit of more hours for the week. And then uh, I really need this done. It's kind of an emergency. I did try to show you earlier but I know it was kind of uh, dark under that carport. Let me see if I can do it right here up close with the light. Look at that rotor. So here we go. Let's look, let's look, let's look. And it's right at 32 and holding. I love it. Now the compressor is still, you know, it's not on anymore and it's not even warm. So that means it's shut off a long time ago and it's holding this temperature really, really well. Let's look in here. I know you really can't tell on camera wow that's cold look at that yeah i know right that's 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 what you call working hands right there ninjas but that's cold this is cold and that's 32 degrees now you can drop this even lower there you have it ninjas i hope you enjoyed this video just a little review video nothing to it and uh hope you everyone's having a good day hope everyone has a safe be safe Thanksgiving with your family and friends Really take the necessary precautions that you need to stay safe and keep your family safe With all this stupid crap going around, but I'm gonna go ahead and help out busy B over here Get this done so I can go ahead and get upstairs to the office and get this video up for you ninjas But I don't know. I don't obviously I'm not gonna have a video tomorrow, but uh, Friday Saturday Sunday. I might just pop
pop, 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 pop them all out because we've got a lot going on. So thank you, take care, and we'll see you in the next one. Hey, Busy Bee, wanna say bye, Busy Bee? Saving green. Saving